Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. We are here, ladies in film and television, and I am Jeanette Greenwood, CEO and founder of Ladies in Film, and I'm super duper excited, as always. This is just my excited nature uh, to be here tonight. Um, for those of you that are joining, I'm asking you to go ahead and share that like, because I have a special a uh, talented guest that is going to join me tonight. So I'm giving everybody just a few seconds to just to share, um, come in the room and let everybody just get in because we want to chat and talk it up with our special guest tonight. Uh, again, we are ladies and y'all come in and say hi to me. Y'all know how I am. Okay. Say hi. When you walk in somebody's house, you speak. Okay. Hello. I see somebody come on in here and say hi. And uh, I am excited tonight um, just to share this platform with one of our ladies and film members, uh, Tammy Jackson. She, oh my God. Is just a dear heart to me and to the membership. Uh, I love the fact that this this lady she comes in wanting to know, wanting to learn, um, willing to do whatever she can out here in the industry to get work done, to support each other, and this is what it's all about. Um, we like to spotlight our members as well as community. So you don't necessarily have to be a member to have an interview with me. So if you ever want to interview me with me, sit down and talk to me because I am contretto, country and ghetto. So uh, yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna keep it real, you know. So I don't I'm not gonna fake it shaky. I'm not gonna get super proper. I'm gonna be Jeanette Greenwood, okay? So and that's when we have the most fun when I'm being myself. Um, but I would definitely love to have you as a guest. So if you are ever interested in being on the show, we try to do this once per month and talk to somebody in the community, in the industry. You don't necessarily have to be in film. Um, we just like to give it up to our community and support. And it's always about support with ladies and family television because we want to be able to build up the community. When we came up with the name Lift, we had lived before we had the name. And this is a true story. Um, when Dr. Katrina, McKay, Dr. Michaela and I myself, myself was talking about forming this organization, I kept saying, I want an organization that lift people up. I want an organization that lift people up. We need to call it LIV. And they was like, well, what is LIV going to stand for? And I was like, I don't know. And, I, and they kept talking. And while they were talking, I'm thinking, my wheels are spinning. Y'all know I'm a creative. I, I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. Finally, I say, ladies in film and television. They was like, ah! And this is how ladies in television was, film and television was birthed. So we want to be a pillar to the community. We want to be a pillar to everyone out there, provide our platform and just share everything with you. So now on to that. I didn't talk to enough, y'all. I like to talk. Okay. That's why I got a little show because I like to talk, but I don't like to just talk to myself. I like to talk to people. So we have our special guest tonight. I am so excited to share uh, tonight with Tammy and, 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 and answer all these questions that I have. I got a list, y'all. Bam, I got a list of questions for her. And if you have any questions, please feel free, throw them in the chat. Make sure if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Y'all, I've, I've, I've been watching YouTube with people having their little YouTube pages. And I love it when they say, hit that subscribe button uh, for you can, so you can get those notifications. So I'm gonna tell y'all, hit the subscribe button so you can get those notifications, okay? Um, so let, without further ado, y'all, let me go ahead and bring our special guest, uh, Tammy. She's a filmmaker. She's a writer. She's a producer and she's in Texas now, but I'm not going to tell you where she come from. We're going to let her tell you how does she end up in Texas as a filmmaker. So without further ado, I want you to hit those like buttons and give it up for Tammy Jackson. Hey, Tammy! 
Hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome introduction. Awesome introduction. <laughs> oh, you are so welcome. Hi, hi, Mc uh, Michael. We see Michael on. Oh, she's hi, always, McK McK she's always supporting. I just love her. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She's a big supporter. So, yes, we are really excited. I see people are popping in. Hey, y'all. Come in the house and speak now. Come hey. on in the house and speak. <laughs> but um, we are super excited to have you here tonight. Thank and you. to share your journey um, in this amazing industry yeah. of film and Absolutely. writing and all this exciting stuff. So I'm not going to prolong. Tell us about yourself. Who is Tammy Jackson? Who is Tammy Jackson? Oh, goodness. Um, well, on a normal day, Tammy Jackson is just <laughs> laid back, chill, you know, just allowing God to use her as best he, he knows how and, and uh, being grateful for every day I get. Um, mm -hmm. But on the other side, I'm, I'm, I am a writer. I'm a director and I'm an author. And so I, I feel proud to say those things. Um, but I'm just I'm just your home, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, homegrown. Uh, from okay. a little, little small town called, I got to shout out Kenlock. That is my, that's my birth, my birthplace. And so um, I represent St. Louis, uh, Kenlock uh, by way of St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Kenlock. And that's new. I got a cousin in St. Louis, Missouri. I got really? family. Okay. I got family in, in Missouri. A lot okay. of family in Missouri. It's okay. And so you come from Kenlock. Missouri to yeah. Texas. How long have you been in Texas? I've been here. It's almost three years come July. Uh, so, okay. well, so yeah, I'm, I'm about two years more towards the two years. Uh, so yeah, in July be three. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what brought you to Texas? <sighs> Jeanette, um, I, I, I needed a change in my life. Um, okay. been in, in St. Louis all my life. Um, and so I was looking for different, a light, a different life and, uh, some, some ambition and some, some motivation and, you know, not that my hometown didn't have that, but, uh, again, seeking just something different for me and better for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, um, I'd made the decision, um, my mom had passed in 2017, um, and so, I had I, I was at home and, and and back there and stayed there as, um, all that time and she was like you have to live your life and so um, I made the decision to 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 relocate and I, I'm I think it was the best decision I ever made I, I just still get like chills when I think about the fact that I made that transition. Uh, knowing that you're in a place for so long and you get comfortable. Yeah. Um, and so still, I stepped out on faith and, and trusted that God got me and he got me. All right. He got and me. So let me ask you, did you have family here? Friend? I do. I have, it, I have a lot of family here scattered around in Texas. Okay. Um, and, and so, um, I didn't move to any of those areas where they were like, and, and, and so crazy when I moved here, I think I had like four other family members that were moving and, 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 and cousins and all of that. And they were coming to Texas. So we were all on Facebook every now and again. I'm like, transition to Texas. I'm like, you just moved to Texas too. What? So it, 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 it then it felt like, okay, my family is here with me. You know, I got, I got some, some, immediate family here and 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 good. and it feels good so yeah yeah all right and so everybody was on the same page let's let's run to texas Let, let's 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 start a new life let's let's create new chapters yes wow. absolutely absolutely wow. well welcome to texas thank you thank and you and we we are real glad that, that that you made that choice because i know for us here at ladies and film we just enjoy your presence Thank whenever you. we're able to get together. We just enjoy yeah. your presence because you're just that, just a warm person and, and just so helpful. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that, that's that up north, that northern, uh, that northern love or something. <laughs> Say it. I know that's right. That's that, that Midwest. We Midwest. But oh, Midwest. Okay. Absolutely. But I tell you one thing I, I have, it, it, it has been a, a amazing for me to, um, I feel like being here in Texas on the South, 
uh, the 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 warmth of people is is amazing. It really is, and I I say that all the time. I'm like, man, people are just friendly down here, and I like that. And I guess because I'm just such a humble person, and I I grew up with with you know the way I've grown up. I'm like, okay, this this where I fit. <laughs> this is where I fit. <laughs> That's that old Southern That's that Southern. Yeah, it is. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about film. Okay. Because okay. I know that you write. You've actually yes. wrote, you've written with me yeah, uh, yes. on C Blues. Uh, and, yeah. uh, and um, so how did you get into film? And you've written other stuff. You got a lot of stuff out there. So you was writing books, right? Well, I I will. I started writing stage plays stage, at my okay. church. Uh, okay. At my church, and I honestly, when I tell you, I I have to again, kind of pinch myself because I never expected myself to be uh, writing or anything like that. So at you know being a part of my church home, um, so, uh, one of the members had approached me about writing a play for him. And I just out the blue, I'm like, you want me to write a play? So I did. Ne never was thinking about that. Um, and so I said, well, I'll, I'll give it a, I can give it a shot. I, I don't know, but I'll give it a shot. Um, and then just again, just started with a, a stage play at my church, um, and then ended up writing three more um, at my church at, um, that I was there for the time I was there. Mm -hmm. um, and so. I, I got that that niche that bug Ooh, because that bug. I think what happened with the, the the whole writing the play and then casting the the, the play and then putting on the production the uh, it was it was exhausting and it was scary but I tell you when I finished it I was like I can do this again and that was literally what I said I'm like oh I can do this again I like this. <laughs> I like this. And so I, 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 I did a couple of more plays at my church. And then I said, well, I, the, I feel like the kind of stories that I was telling or trying to tell, um, I felt like the message was a little bigger that mm. it needed to maybe be, you know, out more. So I branched down and, and I tried to put on a stage play at, I, I feel I'm my own worst critic, so I feel like it was a flop. But at the I got so much praise for it, um, and 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 that was my my boost. And I said, okay, well I did that, and so then I decided to start putting myself in circles where people who were in the arts doing plays mm -hmm. or even doing film. And I'm like, well let me let me just start getting on the internet and reaching out to groups that are maybe doing something in my community. And so I started going to uh, independent film projects that people were putting on and just offering my service. Like, I just want to sit in the room. Wow. I just want to hear what's happening. I want to see what you, what's going on. And so um, working um, with the independent group um, uh, and, and, and they, this gentleman put on a film and he had a writer's group. So I was a part of the writer's team there. And so um, when we did our first set, going on set, we had to be there maybe six, seven in the morning. We was there to maybe 12 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. The exhaustion was real. But again, I was like, I can do this again. <laughs> so moving from stage play and, and going on a film set was a totally different animal that I, I was like, now I really like what comes about when you are doing a film, especially like behind the scenes. And so I really just went hard for myself to, to um, put myself in circles where if I, if I can be volunteering anywhere, I would do that. And I was doing that at home in St. Louis a lot. Um, and then Again, life happened, and and uh, uh, I I was deciding to trying to decide if I wanted to relocate. Um, and then when COVID hit, I had made the decision to relo relocate like during COVID, and I came here right when COVID hit. So everything shut down th as soon as I made it here to Texas. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm kind of jumping, but it's like. When I again, when I think about the journey of it, it 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 really is just amazing. So, 
um, film is kind of where I landed and I enjoy, you know, what comes about when you're making film. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided, well, let me, let me hone my, my, my skills in maybe writing something uh, more and, and all of that. Um, and then, you know, getting again, working with people, starting meet and meet people and come out of that and be in that, uh, come out of that shy phase that I think I, I have, uh, and stepping into it. So when you got into film, so you came here, you just decided I'm listening to you. Yes. So you, you said that you started just researching, um, different organizations and, 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 uh, networks and people that are out here really producing and and doing things and you mm -hmm. volunteered your service yeah so I, I was doing that a lot in st louis um and and then when okay, i moved to st. The, louis. yeah oh. and then but when i moved to texas and the pandemic hit everything shut down but i was i was starting to uh just be sad about not you know i'm in a new state i don't know people but I want to do some. So but the only thing I could do is I'm working from home. So I'm at home all day. So I had decided um, I had um, went online and I had uh, met a, a young lady who was um, starting uh, writing a book. Oh, she wanted to write a series. And so I just reached out to her and I was like, well, I'm interested. If you want somebody to help be on your writing team, I'm interested. Uh, her name is Denise Hill. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up, that's how I ended up being, becoming uh, an author for the first time. Oh, um, okay. Because we wrote on, on a, um, a drama series called Betrayal. Um, and she's a published author. So she was like, well, how about, and it was two other ladies with us. So it was four on this team at that time. And so um, she was like, well, you guys are, are we interested in maybe turning our series into a book? And so we jumped on board with that again. I, I don't know nothing about writing no book. <laughs> so I was like, well, it's a title for me. I'll take it. Um, so we did that. And then we turned around and, and, and we were, we worked together for like a little bit over a year and we created betrayal one and betrayal two. Oh. Um, that's how we got the book. Um, so then while I was doing that, I, I'm like, well, I want to do something more local because these ladies I met were in, I met them online and we did all of this virtual and they live in Indiana. And so oh, I'm here in Texas, right? So all of them. And I'm like, I want to do something more local. I'm, I want to know if things are happening out here, even during the pandemic. And so I happened to go on uh, one of the Dallas um, film um, groups and I was on there for a minute but then I came across the name Lyft and when I saw the title I was like oh my god I, I love that name I love that title I love what it stood for and so I said jump <laughs> just <laughs> jump so yeah. I just I I I emailed Latre La Lucretia Lucretia mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I messed up her name I emailed her and I just put out there like I'm new to town or to Texas and I'm looking to be a part of. And so she emailed me back uh, maybe a week or so later. And um, and she just kind of told me what I need to do to join the organization. I, and I went on your website and was looking at things and I was like, oh, my God, they are in the community and not only that i'm like their headquarters is in arlington and i'm right here in arlington at the time i was moved in i was living mm -hmm. in arlington and so again all of that just started happening so my adrenaline my excitement of being a part of um an organization that again with the title ladies in film i'm like oh my god this is uplifting um i want to know more about it i want to see what what I can be a part of with this, with this organization. And that's where I've been. And I, you know, so, and I saw your picture and, and, and I saw some videos and I get, I just thought like, man, she has this energy and this, this Aww. beautiful uh, personality that I, I love. And it's, it's welcoming, it's opening and it's, Hey, come on. <laughs> so come on. I, I hope I'm doing you proud a little bit. I know things are still getting off the ground with some stuff, but 
just trying to really be more involved if I can. But yep, that's how it happened here in Texas. Well, I mean, and I know you um, had reached out and Lucretia did tell me, um, we got somebody, uh, Tammy Jackson. And so I know you can, we had our, uh, cause the pandemic, of course, it yeah. was, it was crazy. So we did eventually, it calmed down a little bit and we snuck in to try to have a meet and greet. Yeah. <laughs> we yep. snuck in and yep. had a meet and greet and I, <laughs> that's when I finally met you. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So we found out about how you got into film. Now, who inspires you most in the industry as far as the film industry? You have a, 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 a someone that's out here or that you just like, oh my God, I love what they do. Well, I mean, I, 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 I enjoy, and I really like Ava DuVernay. Oh, um, I just, I just feel she just has a spirit, but honestly, uh, Jeanette, I, I, my, my inspiration is, is just being hopeful that, you know, things that I do reach people, um, and I can make a different and make a difference and an impact. Um, I don't have role models, so I just, okay. but I am, I do, people do inspire me. I get very inspired. Right. Um, and so, um, I, I just, I do enjoy watching Ava DuVernay's shows. Um, I, but for real, for, for me, it's the inspiring of, of, of hope and, 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 and of that. That's, that's kind of what pushes me, honestly. Okay. I like yeah. that. Now. I know about a recent project that you got at, and we saw we've seen you posting about it and everything. So tell us about this project, because I got a lot of questions on here about this project. Tell us okay. about this project, and and how did you get started? I want to hear all the juice. Well, um, a baller's promise. Um, I I I wrote that as a um, just a. a a short, I probably was all at the time about 40 some pages. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had, I had been editing back and forth with this script of how to tell the story. Um, and so what, what, what happened, the reason how it came to life is I, um, I had met Nicole Simmons, Nick, Nick, Nicole Simmons, who is mm -hmm. a DP. And I met her through one of the projects that you guys put on, um, Miss Lucretia had invited me to come work on a project. Um, and, sh and she was, uh, filming it, DP in it, Nick, okay. Nicole was. And so I, it was just me and her, um, it, uh, pretty much working, but she was doing it all. Cause, uh, so she was working the camera and all that. And so I, I just, um, I was very, in, inspired like she she just had this presence about her on set like she just she was she looked like she was serious um <laughs> but she was a young black woman and so i was like okay and i just kept a mental note of that and so um when i really decided i need i wanted to put something out um since i've been here i wanted to be back on set I wanted to get I had been writing all this all this time mm -hmm. and I was like man none of my work has been really out here so I just want to get my feet wet again and, and really get some get going again and so I said well I'm gonna take this chance and I'm gonna reach out to Nick uh Nicole to see if she would be willing to work with me uh to film uh a project any projects I may have and okay. so we talked and so she she was like well let's let's do this Let, let's start off with something small um, or something, a short, like 10 minutes or whatever. And so I was like, well, you know what, let me take this script. And, um, I, I, I went over all the, the scripts I had and I said, well, this would be the one that I think would be the most simplest. Um, and if I break it down, I can tell this story in, in like episodes, 10 minute mm -hmm. episodes, I, I thought. And so, um, got back to Nick and, and, and sent her the script and all that. She was on board off jump with me anyway. And so, um, when I got everything situated and you no know, casting and all of that, um, we, we, we shot the film. So, uh, I was, I mean, just excited just, I, just to have it, just to have something else, you know, that I've done and, and, and put it out there. 
Um, so that's how Baller's Promise was birthed. It, it was, it was created, it was, you know, put out. <laughs> so that was your first time um, shooting a, your a, a film, your own project of film. In here in Texas. Now in I Texas. did do, I had a short film when I worked, when I was in St. Louis with one of the independent groups. It was a comedy mm -hmm. uh, called The Lick. It, it's on YouTube. Oh, okay. um, and so I did that there, but this is my first actual film here in Texas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, um, as far as your production, so you told us how you got Nick and I love Nick. Nick is the bomb.com. I, I know she is. I, again, just to see a, a young black woman with, when I, when, when we was on set filming a ball is promise and we was over here at this park and I'm just, and even when we was at the other spot, I said, I'm just watching her pull this equipment out. She know where, where goals were and what, and, 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 and being on set, I've learned, of course, you know, you, you, you definitely, you got to respect the equipment. Absolutely. Yes. And so and she has high see, dollar equipment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so to just see her do this by herself, set this up, wag it all in. I, I, girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> Nick, if you, you go girl, I'm telling you. Yes. Nicole, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm I call her Nick. I, I just we all it. call her Nick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now you got Nick, which she shot the film, edited, and everything. But tell us, how did you do the casting? How did you get the casting? Okay. And so I reached it. it lift <laughs> Miss Jeanette. <laughs> so I, I, I first I had just I, I think I may have just posted. Um, uh, I. I did post it somewhere and I, I don't know, I didn't get a lot of response. Um, no, I think I reached out to you and I asked you um, because I thought maybe some, some, some um, actors and actresses, a part of Lyft would be um, interested. And I know you encouraged me to go on the Texas indie filmmaker. Um, well, I went on there mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and I did, I, I posted um, a casting call um and immediately <laughs> i mean my email was full i couldn't really miss Jeanette. i'm telling you and so i was checking my email every day and people was like i'm interested i'm interested i'm interested and so i started going through the their their um their profiles and all of that and choosing characters that way um and again i know god hand was on this because um when I, when I finally narrowed down who I wanted, you know, for, for the cast, like people, they stuck through the cast stuck with me, you know, some, some people drifted off, but I, w I went through Texas indie filmmaker, um, the group, and I posted there, got a good response and then started weeding out cast members from my email that they were sending to my email. Um, and picking cast, and I just was honest with it, and just telling them, "Hey, look, I I can't pay anything. I I I, I but I'm going to provide X, Y, and Z. I IMDb. You will have food, <laughs> and 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 all of that. And um, so then once I got the cast, I started having um um virtual um rehearsals readings yeah readings mm -hmm. and um and just again I, I kept saying okay you know so far so good and so every day that people were showing up to the readings I was getting more and more inspired and encouraged that this is going to fit this going to go through I'm not going to probably have a lot of uh, hiccups um and when we started reading again just listening to the cast and hearing my script being read back to me um from the cast uh it, it it was just overwhelming for real for me because like they were committed they committed to it and they they it stuck is. with me um and that for me was like the biggest uh this blessing i think that you know especially when you you got you know other things that they could be doing they stuck through with me and, wow. and and we got it done so i hope i made them proud being on set as a director um and and trying to give them my vision of what i wanted wanted to come to life with that but tell us about the ballers or uh, the ballers promise what is oh. 
What is this? Because I see you got some some little boys, and I know one of the boys. Yes, 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 and, Craig, uh, I'm telling you. I, and I, I was actually on set, y'all. So, yes. and I let me tell you, it was so funny. I'm gonna talk about her and her face. Um, <laughs> it was so funny. I went. Uh, I'm the CEO. I know I'm the CEO, but to me, I'm and so I showed up to her set because y'all, she cast the twins. My uh. Yeah, and Jaden, y'all know they with Destiny Squad Radio, right? So they act, they're actors too. So she cast them, and um, so I brought them to the set, and she needed some stuff. They was trying. That's when you and Nick was trying to get that get that room dark, and we didn't have you didn't have yeah. trash bags. And I said, <laughs> well, and I was, you know, I was just standing there, you know, I be. I don't, you know, I try to let people run their own sets, you know, uh -huh. you know, unless they ask me. Okay. And so I then I say, do you want me to go to the Dollar Tree and go get some trash bags? <laughs> and she looked at me like, no, Miss Greenwood, you can't be running errands. Right. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who do you think I am? I can't run, run errands. Uh, and you know, and she was like, but I, I can't have you running errands. I was like, why not? And what else do you need? So y'all, I became the errand girl for her. I I went and got the trash bags yeah. to cover the windows to make it dark. We got pizza. I went to see CC's pizza. We got pizza. And yeah. I had to make another stop to get some drinks. So <laughs> I was working. I was on set. I don't know if I'm the gopher or whatever you got. And you were script I mean, I, I didn't care. I was working. I, I embraced it all. But you know. I said all that to say this, and I'm not bragging on myself, y'all. Oh, Please no, don't absolutely. feel like. But I said that to to say this: that in this industry, if many of us could show up and just be there for people, and especially we know that this was a passion pro uh, project for you, yeah. your first one here, and so um, I was honored to be honest with you. Well, I was more than honored gosh. to do all of that for you. And uh, go out and grab the piece of baby. The cast was happy when I got back. I know, right? <laughs> but and, and one other thing, I, I like you know, you got on there, and I saw your your thread blowing up when you posted your post. So for any of you that are watching, and you are a member of Texas Indie Filmmaker Group, it is a filmmaker group owned by Ladies and Family Television. It's free to jump in there. Yeah. We have like six thousand members in there from Texas, and we got some that are yeah. not from Texas. But we made them promise that you're gonna work with Texas if you up in this group, okay? Absolutely. But Absolutely. um, I, I can say this about that group um that they work together and if you have a project and you're not bull yeah. now if you bull corner they're gonna come for you in that group uh, okay I have, I have to stop someone i'll be like wait don't, okay. don't, don't say that yeah. but um but if you're serious about your projects they are in there and they are ready to work and get that yeah. experience and i really enjoy being on set with you and i know some of the actors came out of that group you know yes. some of the actors most of your actors came out of that group yes they did yeah yes yeah. yeah. so yeah um so what did you have to say about those actors because i you know they, I, they came in and, and did that they did they really when i look at the film and again i i i am my own worst critic and, and so when i watch the film you know i'm sitting there and i'm i'm picking out stuff that I probably, you know, that I feel like I, I, I should have been aware of then. But when I, when I just kept watching it and I just watched the genuine acting of the actors, I was just blown away for real. I mean, all of them from them kids and, and some people like they say it's hard to work with kids, but again, they, Oh my God. It, it was just amazing for them to have jailed. And, and I really began to feel that way when we were doing our table read. I can feel that they were jailing, especially the boys. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I could not wait to see them at this park on set. Um, and it and it played out exactly the way it was supposed to. They They had a genuine connection. And I don't know if they knew each other prior to no they didn't but they jailed and i mean they hit them lines they were giving me what i needed what i was looking for um 
and and it it just it it fell through. And so the actors um, and actresses that were in this film, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm still trying to figure out how to how to give them something because I I, I just I'm I'm grateful. I'm very very grateful um, that they took the time out to to other day to to do that. So I was definitely trying my best to make sure that I kept schedule. Um, that I had things that, you know, for them to eat so they wouldn't get, you know, uh, exhausted and burnt out or anything and uh, just get too tired. So um, I, I I thank them from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. I, I Words ain't even enough right now. And it was, again, just a little, it was a 10 minute short. So I'm, I'm forever grateful, forever. So what would you tell someone that may be watching or may come back on replay um, because the first thing that we think about is that I don't know anybody or I don't have this experience and I don't, you know, I don't know how it's going. I don't know if this script is written right. Like you say, we are going to be the first one to just really just critique ourselves. Yes. But what would you tell somebody that's thinking about, I really want to write a script. And I know for a fact that Nick was in your ear about doing that. Just write it. Just, just do it. <laughs> she was, I mean, she, nobody. <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, she was again, just, you know, we going to work together to get it done and, and tell a story again for you to, to, um, continue to grow and, and, and get what you wanting to out of being a director and a writer. Um, so I thank her so much for just her time um, that she gave in, in filming this for me. Um, she, I'm, I'm, I, Nick, I'm, I'm not done. I got more stories <laughs> if you're available. You know, I know her schedule is tight, tight, tight. Um, and, and for any DPs, I'm, I'm willing, I work with, you know, anybody. Um, but, um, I just, I would just say like, you know, if you, if you feel like you, you know, you, you want to tell stories and, and I think, you know, nowadays, you know, everybody, you know, are telling stories, but if it really is a passion of yours, I mean, you, you, you just do it. You, you, you start writing. If you're a writer, um, I don't have a, a routine. Um, I, I feel my stories and then I do like to just, you know, um, start sitting down. I like to write on paper. That is just something about me writing it down first on so paper. So you write yours on paper? I do. Okay. I have to write it on paper. Okay. I can't just go to the computer and start typing it. Um, because I, when I need to scratch, I need to scratch. I don't do all the backspace. So when I get to the computer, I feel like I know I'm gonna have to do some more edits, but of course I get to the computer, I can just flow with it. And then mm -hmm. if more ideas come, then I, I can tweak it here and there. Um, but I just feel like, you know, you just have to uh, trust yourself, uh, trust your vision um, and, and, and know that if it's a, if you feel it's a good story, somebody will resonate with it and just work with, you know, getting people uh, on, on your team to do that. And that's been one of uh, that's one of my biggest goals to try to accomplish is to 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 work, build a team around me that you know, can, can work with me to get things done, you know, and, and that means me joining, you know, lift and, and being a part of that to network and build relationships with people that see my work, work ethic and, um, know that I'm serious, um, about what I want to do. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, um, I want to go back and, 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 you know, I teach a lot of different classes for, mm -hmm. um, lift and, I talk to different people about different things. I, I, as well, I'm a filmmaker, a writer, director, producer, and all that. Okay. And you said something, and it was actually a post in the indie filmmaker group. I don't know if you saw this post or not. Okay. But somebody was very upset because um, uh, they promised them things, you know, and they this was a passion project and these people went out there for free yeah and and they were upset about no food being oh. on set mm. and and you said something um and i i was at both and i and you had a lot of food and i wasn't even 
Y'all, I'm just going to be honest. I wasn't even a cast member. I wasn't doing nothing. The first day, I was just there. And I I say, and I was hungry. I say, I'm a parent. Can I eat some snacks? Absolutely. She, she had so much yes, food. I mean, drinks and chips and cookies. And I love cookies. <laughs> All that everywhere. And I just say that because that's very important. Yes. Because... If you're going to invite somebody to your set, and my heart went out to that person that made that post, and it was a very long post, and it was really was it really was sad and kind of embarrassing, and it wasn't to me, but to the filmmaker community that we would um, put people on a set and not feed them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, you don't have to have like a, a whole you know but, full course meal right put some things out there that people could eat and yeah. that's important and i like that you said that you you know you made sure that people were going to get that in addition to their imdb and all this stuff because yes. you know you have to realize they're working for me for free Absolutely. Um, i can at least feed them you yes. know and, yes. and feed them well right and i have to give you kudos and credit so i'm telling y'all if she ever throws something out there y'all you even if she ain't paying your cash, y'all gonna eat. You you gonna eat? That's for sure. I'm gonna, gonna make it my good. business to have yeah. craft services available. Yes. And I and I learned that uh, Jeanette as well. I when I did a project um, in in St. Louis, and and that had stuck with me from from that point on. Um, we were on set and again. When you have people on set, even when they have call times, you know, and, and you don't want your actors to be coming and sitting around. So yeah, they get call times, but there's things that happen and you, you still want to have things that they would be able, you know, drinks and, and, and snacks or food. Um, because when you're on set, you don't know how long things can take, you know, you don't know how many takes you have to do. Yeah. Um, and so I was making that my priority to, to really um, show my cast how grateful I was for them to give me their time and and be on set. And anybody, you, any parent that brought these the kids, these kids couldn't drive themselves. So yeah, I'm sure, especially in Texas, the stretch of highway is from one city to the next. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. So I was very, very. Um, I was making sure I was making sure that I had that down um, when, when, we, when it was time to start shooting. Um, it, even though it was two days, I was like, I, if nothing else, they're going to get something to eat. And, and, and I know you guys took off when you're, when uh, the twins were done, but I'm telling you the rest of the cast at the end of that, we filmed that day, that last set, I say take all of it. They we had boxes of left sodas and snacks, and, <laughs> and I was like, take it all. I don't care. But yeah, that 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 is important. I think again because you know when you're on set those long days, long times, um, um, you, you just want to be show appreciation to those that have given their time to you. So for me, that yeah, we got a comment from uh, the Ball Truth. She's talking about, I, I love St. Louis, Tammy. There is no other place to get a St. Paul sandwich. Ooh, let me, what's a St. Paul sandwich? Oh, my God. You ain't, you, you, you said it, Miss, Miss, Miss Ball Truth. Yes, ma'am. You ain't, I, I still ain't found no good St. Louis rice here in, in Texas since I've been down here. Um, and, and a St. Paul sandwich ain't even, so a St. Paul is pretty much, um, um, it's it's an egg foo young patty. Um, I don't know if if you know of the egg foo young at China. Uh -huh. So the, it's the egg foo young patty, but it's on bread with some whatever you know pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, <laughs> the whole <laughs> greens, beneath. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so a Saint Paul, I'm telling you, you get you find a good uh, Chinese restaurant in St. Louis. Uh, and you can find a good St. Paul, uh, but it, it, that's what it is pretty much. It's just an egg foo young patty on bread uh, with other toppings and stuff. Um, and she but, said she yeah. can make the rice. Now, and you may not know who Miss Angela, do you know who Angela is? I, I, I don't, but see, she gonna, don't, don't make me, <laughs> don't, don't have her put her address in this chat. <laughs> Um, She's the stylist of the year. That's the, this okay. is one of the one of the top stylists in the DFW. One okay. of mine that I work with all the time, and okay. she can cook. 
Okay, okay. Well, she, if she know how to make that rice, I'm I'm willing because I'm telling you. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go home. I'm, I'm trying. I might be on. I'm, I'm thinking about going home towards the end of the month, and I already said I'm getting me a box of rice. I'm freezing it. <laughs> There's just <laughs> some things that just ain't here in Texas that I'm missing. Uh, but Chinese food uh, would be uh, would be one of them. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, it's um, it's amazing that you were able to come here, um, relocate to Texas. It sounds like you've met some amazing connections um, while you're here. And while really you're have. here, yeah, and um, but I mean, I'm not surprised because your personality is is just uh, is just uh, uh, amazing. You just thank you. You thank always you. the same. I have ne- I, you always smiling. I have never. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, you, you, and you always say it uh, positive, something positive yeah. uh, to it. I love that about you. And, 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 and I know earlier you talked about um, um, Lyft and that you came in and you joined the organization. Um, I know you came in right at, during the pandemic. And like mm-hmm. I say, we had a lot, we were kicking off at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about our um, upcoming president and vice president? I, I congratulations. I didn't think I did say it to them, <laughs> but congratulations. Um, I've, I'm, I'm still ready to work with Freddie. Um, <laughs> I am. I, I just, I enjoy talking to him. I, again, when, when I met, when I came on, he's been very open and, and willing to teach me what yes, the filming and, and, and I still want to know more. I know there's so much in production, um, but I'm ready to, to continue to soak up any knowledge I can in this, in this realm. And, um, but yes, uh, Miss Lucretia, I keep seeing, I'm, I'm there at the, at the, whatever this, this is the show. That's the premiere. I don't know if it's the premiere. Oh, but the, uh, the rings that bind the us. The rings that bind us. Oh, I keep I'm watching the trailer. Yes. I keep watching the trailer and I, I just laugh because I just feel like it's just going to be hilarious and a good message and everything. So I'm like, okay, it, it's, it's on the day that I'm off work. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to be there too. So yes, I will ma'am. see you there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But, um, I, I, congratulations for to both of them um i know they're going to do amazing um i know look miss lucretia you know just even when we've had our meetings um she's always just getting things done with the chat getting people in and and doing whatever (laughs) so congratulations to both of them yeah i I look forward to continue to to meet and grow with lift and work with people yeah i'm ready yes and it's so it's so exciting when we had our board meeting um to vote it was just unanimous i mean that's including yeah. our uh current president shout out to dr katrina and dr okay. michaela um they were super excited for me that's what i love about lift that yeah. i mean it's just you know you're not seeing the hating or you know they didn't act like donald trump and i'm not going i'm not going michaela didn't act like that y'all i mean she 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 played, she you know, her life is so busy. If y'all see the things that she's I have. doing yes. uh, out here, I'm really proud. Shout out to you, Michaela. She, her, and LaCheryl, they got their show coming out. Yeah. But, um, you know, they, uh, they both, Dr. Katrina and um, Dr. Michaela, uh, okay. uh, gave them big wishes of, yeah. of, of coming in. And they're not leaving, y'all. So don't think, where's Michaela and Dr. <laughs> they're not going nowhere. They honorary now. They done moved up the ladder. They watching us now. Okay. But, um, but they are still going to be around to support yeah. Lyft and everything, of course. Okay. But they are really excited about the opportunity that uh, Freddie and uh, Lucretia will be our president and vice yeah. president for the next two years. So they're okay. going to serve two years uh, in those roles. So okay. we're really super excited about about that as well. And, and we have so much going on with uh, um, the Texas Indie Filmmaker coming up yeah. and awards coming up next year so when we're looking excited uh, excited to build the cal- calendar out mm-hmm. um for next year and um people like you that we want to continue the classes continue to for you to learn and as well as all of us i'm learning because just like you said it's a lot of stuff that i don't know i don't know nothing about 
running a camera. Yes. Um, so every time Freddie or Nick Absolutely. or anybody try to throw a class up, I'm in there because I want right. to learn um, as well, you know, as well. So it's good to be all around um, yes. in this industry. And yeah. that's one thing that we at Lyft try to do um, with, um, with the organization is okay. try to give everybody opportunity to be all the way around, just, just yeah. be all around and just, you know, just explore right. um, what's out here. Yeah. So what do you, how do we um, uh, contact you and, and what's, well, actually before I ask that question, that's going to be my last, I want to ask, so what's next for um, the ballers game? Cause I heard, <laughs> you say, I mean, the baller promise. I don't know what, what is the ballers game? I can't I no about, it must be a, wasn't it a movie I a show? I don't, I don't know. know. I, 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 I think you know what I'm thinking about. The game. The game. The game. I, I, yeah. I'm trying, to give, <laughs> I'm trying to give you somebody else's show. But the uh the ballers promise. Um yeah. what's next for that? Well, I, 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 I showing it? How can people see it? Well, they can definitely go on YouTube. Um, I I created a YouTube. I had a, one channel, but I, they can just, uh, I think if you YouTube my name, Tammy Jackson, um, and you'll see the the picture um, of of the of the Ballers Promise, and you could click on it, and and it it's there. So I just created that that YouTube page um, for that. But I, I I've written the the second episode of it, um, and so uh, just looking to evolve the story. Um, uh, cause I know my characters will change. Okay. Um, so I will, I'm writing it, um, with okay. a little bit I more. I actually got it up. Okay. I'm here. Okay. So mm -hmm. the, we're going to, uh, we're going to show it when you get to, so you're going to add more characters. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I got yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, you you're fine. You're trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, of course I'm, I, you know, I just going to. But piggy piggyback off the, the the first story and and just tell the story, um, and so again I I believe it's going to just more show more um, older characters um, moving forward. Um, so I, I'm I'm so he I'm, grows I'm, up. Yeah, yeah, oh, the, the growing okay. up. So just again evolving the the story the storyline um, and and the characters and and you know just keeping being real to the story as much as I can. Um, yeah. So Okay. Well, we got the film project here. Do you mind if we show it to the audience? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So, y'all, we're going to show The Ballers Promise. <laughs> so, give, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Let me get this up. All right. Yay. Let me see. Where is it? Uh there it is, the bright, and it is on YouTube, guys. Yes, so it is on YouTube. Let me, and if you can't hear it, y'all, let me know. Um, if you can't, so I'm gonna. Can we see it now? Can y'all see it? Can you see it? I, I can see it. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna. Let me take it back. I think I had it going. All right, y'all. We're gonna show Tammy's uh, Tammy's short film, The Baller, Our Ballers Promise. <laughs> Hey fellas, you all play ball? What it look like? Well, oh, I don't know what happened. Well, you saw that. What about you, young man? No, I don't think so. Good. Well, you change your mind. I'll be at the gym on Grand every Saturday morning. Black ass dude. <laughs> Yo, good game. Yeah. Yo, we playing tomorrow? Hey, I know I'm down. I'll let you know. I got some business to take care of. Okay, cool. Man, nigga, what business you got? Come on now. It's my business. I'll take your ass home before you know what that ass. Man, whatever. That nigga ain't my daddy. Catch y'all later. All right, later. Later. Hey, little man. <laughs> you got some blow? You be walking up on me like that. I'm sorry. But you got something? That's the last one. I'm more in a couple of days. That's all you got? That's what I said. Now where's my money? 
Where you been, boy? Mind my business. This little nigga can just walk in any time of the night. Look, don't blow my high with all that shit tonight. Man, where Keisha? Where well, she always at? Back in that damn room. So this little nigga can just come and go as he please now, huh? I'm not trying to deal with that shit right now. What you mean? I'm tired of dealing with this, man. You coming in and going as you please. Keisha, no grown man. What's wrong? Man. I can't do that. Why you can do it? Don't start that shit tonight. What you mean don't start that shit? I'm getting tired of his shit. I'm getting tired of your shit. I'm getting tired of her shit. I'm getting tired of everybody's shit in this house. Nigga, you always tired of shit. What you talking about? You the most tired of hey. What do you do to my sister? Who the hell are you talking to? You I can't. Somebody said the screen is blue. So hold it up, y'all. Let me find out why is it blue? You. Hold on. That's weird. Okay, let me try it again, y'all. We don't want no blue screens. <laughs> Hold on. No, because this is, they not going to get, Nick not going to get me. She said she, <laughs> she ain't did no blue screen stuff. So hold on, y'all. Thank you, uh, The Ball Truth, for letting us know. Let me see, can I reshare this and get us a better view? Okay. No, ma'am. No blue screens. Let me see. Tell me if this look better. Yep. That's better? Yep. Okay. What it look like? Well, I coach a team in the AAU. And I was thinking maybe you guys would like to play for my team. What about you, young man? No, I don't think so. Good. Well, change your mind. I'll be at the gym on Grand every Saturday morning. Black ass dude. <laughs> Yo, good game. Yeah. Yo, we playing tomorrow. Hey, I go. I'm down. I'll let you know. I got some business to take care of. Okay, cool. Man, nigga, what business you got? Come on now. It's my business. I'll take your ass home before you know what that ass. Man, whatever. I think I'm my daddy. Catch y'all later. Right, later. Later. Hey, little man. <laughs> you got some blood? You be walking up on me like that. I'm sorry. But you got something? That's the last one. I'm more in a couple of days. That's all you got? That's what I said. And where's my money? Where you been, boy? Mind my business. So this little nigga can just walk in any time of the night. Look, don't blow my high with all that shit tonight. Man, where Keisha? Where well, she always at? Back in that damn room. So this little nigga can just come and go as he please now, huh? I'm not trying to deal with that shit right now. What you mean? I'm tired of dealing with this, man. You coming in and going as you please. You ain't no grown man. What's wrong? I can't do that. Why you can do it? Don't start that shit tonight. What you mean don't start that shit? I'm getting tired of his shit. I'm getting tired of your shit. I'm getting tired of her shit. I'm getting tired of everybody's shit in this house. Nigga, you always tired of shit. What you talking about? Look, you're the most tired of my hey. What do you do to my sister? Who the hell are you talking to? You! Why are you keep letting him do this? I think you better watch who you're talking to, boy, before you get the same thing she got. If you put your hands on my sister again, you what? You gonna whip my ass? Then I hate you. Leave the boy alone. He just yeah, upset. But I hate you too. I wish you had to live here with you. 
Where else you gonna live, huh? Cause ain't nobody else gonna take your ass in. Man, anywhere would be better than here. Oh, so you think you're a man now? Let's see how long you survive out there then. JT, don't go. Yeah. Hold on, I've got you. I promise. Please, JT. Where are you gonna live? I'll be okay. Let's go, little nigga. It's time to be a man. He tripping again, huh? Yeah. Did I say what y'all? Let me ask. Hold on. Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? My boy, JT. Family and shit. It's a little late for company. Ain't trying to leave y'all school tomorrow? <laughs> Leaving that nigga that learn shit now, man. <laughs> Yo, this your boy, he ain't schooling. What's up? You thought? I ain't asked you to think with me. I got bust a cap your ass to remind you of your assignment? No. Why you here? Look, he got kicked out. I don't know if he can stay with us. <laughs> he got him out, don't you got him out? Yeah. So, is it okay I stay with y'all? How you plan to earn your keeps around here? Huh? Huh? How you plan to earn your keeps around here? I don't know. I can take out the trash, clean up. <laughs> yeah, you can stay with me. But look, you got to sell this product. But I don't. No worries. But he's going to take care of you. As long as y'all get caught, be good. Yeah. Hey, I get the fuck out of here. What's up, JT? What's up? Yo, you good? I don't know, D. Like, what if I mess up? Just handle what's in your pocket and get the money. Look, if you scared, I'll make that paper. Nah, he good. I don't know, man. First, I gotta do this for myself and then. Look, nigga, stop thinking negative. You know, I'll be right over there. Yeah, stop thinking like a little punk. I guess, man. I, I guess. Let's go. You got this. Hey, you got that? What? You got blown? Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, hurry up. Young man, put Wait. your hands behind your back. Wait, what? Uh, You're under arrest. Turn around. Go. <laughs> yes oh my god and you are so right about the actors yeah yeah oh my god that's amazing right and, and i'm telling you every time i see it when i look at the i just pay attention to them and uh i pay attention to everything but i, I you, you know act good acting of course makes you tune in it makes you it grabs you into the story so you know again i know it's, it's short and all that but they just really embodied their characters and that just 
blew me away. <laughs> it really did. It, it did. Away. It did. And I, I, you know, uh, me seeing my nep my grandson uh -huh. in that way, I about to say, boy, you better put that weed down. Put it down. <laughs> yeah, I almost flipped it to granny mode. And, and then when I saw my granddaughter with the bruise, and when y'all put them, they you know, get the look. I said, who had hit my grand? I started to act like my dear. Who hit my grand? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I thank you for that opportunity for them. No, thank you. Um, AJ did an amazing job. Yes, he did. That uh, little, that little uh, guy there, boy. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah. And then Lanita just was on set, wasn't even supposed to have been acting. You, you, tell us about that and we're gonna close out with that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell and again I have to I tell the story, you know, how she I mean, I know nobody knew that, but you know, I had somebody else in that in that role, and at last minute they 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 didn't show up. And she on set with her son, and, and when you said, I mean, can a woman do it? And it, I'm like, well, yeah, actually, yeah, she can. And so when I saw her on set, when I saw the film as when it was finished, I, that was that was supposed to be that way. And I, I'm like, she killed that that role the, with with what I was looking for. And just, I was like, yes, that was for her to do at that moment. And, that, and, and so God had His hand on that too. I just right, she was right there, and she yeah. was like, the person didn't show. Yeah, y'all know me. Yeah, yeah, and jump you got right an into actress it. Right there, Lanita Absolutely. Brown. You know, the Lanita Brown, and she asked Lanita. Lanita took her hair down, baby. Yeah, yeah. Started, started taking off. She just undressed right there. Yeah. And got to work. <laughs> this is what lift is about. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, that's one of our members. That is what lift is her. about. Thank you. I, yes. And I, I was just when I saw the finished product, I said, "Baby, she played that." Yes, yeah, she did. She did she play it? <laughs> She did. She, she really did. That role. Yes, she and did. we got a question from uh Dr. Dartson, our president. Hey, my Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Uh, she wants to know what was the motivation for your story. Um, it was it was just wanting to um so being working with with youth for a long part of my life, uh over 15 years, just working with youth, youth. Um I, I I just feel compelled to tell, um, to to make content that 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 kind of speaks to some of the things that I've seen youth that our youth go through, especially our at risk youth, um, when when they don't have a voice or when they they trying to be heard, um, and so uh, I don't even know how I came up with the title, but I was just. You know, at first, again, it was it was going to be a series and it was just going to be solely, you know, the journey of a young kid, JT, um, throughout. But but as um, when I made the decision to break it down, just to, again, get my my wheels turning again and get into on set and, and all of that, I thought, well, good man, it could be a great little episode uh, story to tell with little episodes where. JT character evolves. Mm -hmm. Um, but just again, wanting to be real to, I know we, you know, we, we all have people that we know going through things and Miss Jeanette, I know you share that you've, you know, you work with at risk you too. So mm -hmm. for me, that is, that's, that's just always been like something for me, um, just being passionate about our youth and wanting to give them more um, inspiration and hope that things, their circumstance, their situation is not where it's at at the moment. Right. Things can change. So yeah. wanting to really tell a story starting from a young person's perspective um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, just being true to, you know, um, just being true to the, the, the characters, um, but, but giving them hope that things can change. You, you're not in that situation forever, but we as uh, young kids don't see that. They don't right. think about that moment. We've all been there, yeah. uh, but really working with, with, with youth who may go through abuse or don't have, you know, people in their life to keep them encouraged and positive. So that is, what I inspire. That's a, a lot of what I write comes from that kind of mindset. 
Wow. And I can, I mean, as a writer, and I know, ain't no telling what uh, Michaela is thinking, because she's still asking a lot of questions. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but come, as a writer, I can really see yeah. that going so many ways. And I, I paid attention to him giving the ball to his sister and saying, I promise. And yeah. I thought that. Yes. I that. I'm yes, ma'am. You so see, I had to give power. you a little credit. I gave you a shout out on, on the credits because when I when you sent me that picture, again, that blew my mind away too. I'm like, I look at it all the time and I'm like, I can feel this. I, I can feel it. And, and, pay, and maybe some people can just feel it. You know, when you see you, you you know on this side of the table you got some 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 thugs over here that that's doing some things and you know but you got these two young boys so it speaks volumes to me it really does yes yeah yes. so I thank you so much for that picture I love it I love that snap I don't know how you got it I was just in there snapping just snapping my phone. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much. See, I told you we went over a little bit, but that's okay because we wanted to share that movie yes, yes. with everybody. Yes. Um, you're getting so many kudos and thank we you. thank you. Uh, thank you for always supporting Live. We are continuously always here for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I out. hope I'm a part of the family for a while. I'm I'm, I'm sticking around. All uh, right. Y'all right. see my look, my membership dude is on the way. I'm coming. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> yes, and we, you know, we thank you. You know, we got so many major plans um, for Liv. Uh -huh. And like I say, as we continue on, we got our new uh, president board and stuff coming in. And we here, um, Dr. Katrina, Michaela, all of us are here to support them, yes. you know, as they walk into something new and, and yeah. stuff like that. And, you know, so we're here to support each other. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate all of you out here that yeah. have just talked to her and gave her these words of encouragement thank you all and thank you so all much of that. thank y'all so much yeah. we thank y'all for joining we wish you continued success tammy thank you i can't wait till the next uh what come out i want to see what's gonna happen i know right and i i, I, I can't wait too long you know, <laughs> and right. all that and we just um oh i appreciate you too my sweetie uh yes. we appreciate you I'm just excited. My, my, Michaela, we was talking about you earlier. I don't know if you was on, but we was talking about the, the stuff that you and LaCheryl got going on and and the, the series that's coming out and how they just this, you know, they're they're they, they kept it in Dallas and trying oh to promote God. Dallas actors and and man, Dallas is doing the day. Everybody thing. is working and it it oh my God, it is it is so it is amazing. Every everybody that I follow that follows me or whatnot, I mean, I'm seeing everybody doing something. So that is just my constant goal. That, okay, don't get up and 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 get it done, you get know. It. And and that's great. It is great. It is, and it's amazing that we can work together, mm -hmm. not not beating each other up or tearing right. each other down. Absolutely, that we want to see each other, you know, grow. So whenever I see my sisters them out there posting stuff. I'm yeah. sharing they stuff. Yeah, same I'm, gonna, here. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm not just gonna like they stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna comment. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm gonna comment. I would they comment. So I like your likes, but I love your comments. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at that, so I'm, I'm gonna have to follow behind you. Okay, Jenny. well, come on and give us some comments. I don't care yeah. if it's two hearts, three hearts, right? Because it's good. Okay. To, it makes you feel good when you see Absolutely. that people yeah, are welcome. You know, I'm welcoming and, and paying attention to what you do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's 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 just a, it's just a, it's just very appreciative to see that, and people yeah. think that is nothing. So for those of you that out here that think your little hearts don't mean nothing to me, uh, yes, they do. Absolutely right. <laughs> I love the hearts. And um, so we're gonna close out the show. Give us how to contact you um, on your social medias. And um, you close us out on anything else that I didn't mention <laughs> that you felt like I should have had, and we're gonna no, close you out did. on that. Thank you so much. I I greatly greatly appreciate this. Um, it's it's just again another way of 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 God confirmating things for me um, that that I'm on the right path. You know, we do get. I know in this industry, like when you're trying to do film or music or whatever that. 
you 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 get into your own head sometimes people may do but you get discouraged if you feel like things aren't moving a, a certain pace for you um you find yourself getting discouraged and i do that um but i mean i do i just continue to trust um and every time i do think that i'm i'm this is not the lane i'm supposed to be in um God, he kind of kind of shakes me a little bit and say, uh, no, because here's something right here that I think, you know, you may want to be doing. So um, I just thank you. I thank Lyft. I thank all the people I've met so far um, uh, here in Texas um, that continue to encourage me to, to just keep doing what I do and just be me. Um, and so. Uh, I wanted to thank one person that I just I did not on the credits. Uh, the music editor, his name is Ramar Duffy. Uh, he's a friend of mine's brother. He's my brother as well. So he's not my friend. He is my brother, oh, wow. and he is a DJ. So I reached out to him, and and we because you know you put the film together, you see everything. You know, I'm like, man, I think some music to it would would really bring something out of it, and. He worked with me in, in finding the music that would fit scenes. Um, and I thank him so much. He he is an amazing spirit. Um, and he's out here in Texas, too, with me. And, right. and, and so, you know, if you need anybody that want to DJ, he, he is a DJ. He give he a young man with a with a with a with a spirit, a soul on him that can can move a room. So wow. I thank him so much for just his participation in this. Uh, because he, you know, he, so I thank him. Um, and, and, and that's, that's really much all that's, uh, just thanking you again, uh, Jeanette for this opportunity. Um, and we thank yeah. you and yeah. all of y'all can see her stuff is flashing through how you can follow her. You yep. can follow her on Facebook, uh, at Tammy Jackson, Tammy Jackson, yeah. Yes, and yep. Instagram. <laughs> Is I'm Tammy Jackson, right? And Tammy Jackson is Tammy Jackson, right? <laughs> Tammy ja that's good. So I put yeah. the link in yeah. the page. I need all of you. She just um, created her YouTube page. Would you do her the favor and go subscribe to her channel? And Thank don't you. just subscribe. Share her her video. Share her short film. And that's how we can get ourselves out there. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we want to thank all of you again so much for joining our membership spotlight. I know I hadn't been out here in a while. For all that know, I lost, I had three deaths in my family back yeah. to back to back. And I'm still recovering. I'm still grieving. Yeah. But I, I'm going to be okay. But it, it you, you did my heart been well. In my to, prayers. Yes. Well, thank you. And yes. to sit here and talk to you tonight, I, I love it. Thank and, you. oh, look. Somebody, Dr. McKenna, say we will play it on DTR TV. Shut up. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> All right. See what Thank I'm saying? You. I know, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, the pressure's on. So, I got to come up with a, the, the episode two is already, I got to get it casted. It's written. I just got to get it casted. Yes. Yes. Nick, yes. you ready? Nick? Nicole, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so Dr. Michaela wants you to get with her outline. She's just gonna need that file, she said. Okay. And um, and 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 we could get that just shown everywhere. But we want to thank all thank of you. you again so much for joining. Absolutely. Thank y'all so much. And Tammy, you be blessed. Thank and you, you all you have well. a good night. Good night. <laughs>